Hey friends, welcome to the first official lab of the Full Stack Deep Learning 2022 edition. I am Charles and I helped revamp the labs for this year and I'm really excited to be sharing it with you. So let's dive in. This is the repository for the labs this year on GitHub. This is where all the information for the labs lives. And so you can see there's folders for labs one, two, and three here already. We're going to keep adding more lab folders as we go. Through the labs, we're gonna iteratively build a deep learning code base for training our text recognition system. If we take a look at what that looks like in lab one, it's pretty simple. There's just this one library, text recognizer, and the text recognizer has basically two pieces for handling data and for handling models. If we look at the directory for lab two, we'll see now we've got an extra library for training and we still have that text recognizer library, but it's gotten more complicated. We've added more pieces. We've added lightning models, for example. If you're following along with local development, then what you'll do is clone this repository. And every week as we release new labs, you can clone it again. If you're watching this after the course has ended, you'll just clone it once and you'll have all the labs. And to do a lab, you'll go into each lab folder, look at the notebooks, and open this notebook in Jupyter from the command line. So for more details on how to get set up with local development, you can check out the video on getting local development set up. Doing that requires that you have a Linux machine with a GPU available locally or set one up in the cloud. The easiest way to get started is just use Google Colab. So jumping back to the main page to the readme and scrolling down, we can find this table which has all the labs in it and then these badges that you can click that will open the notebooks up in Colab. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one for that first lab, Deep Neural Networks and PyTorch. So in these videos, I'm not gonna go line by line through these labs. There's lots of text and content in there that explains everything that's going on in them. So what I'm gonna do in these videos is give you an overview of how to use each lab and hit on some of the highlights. To start off, we gotta get our bearings here in these notebooks. So the first thing that I wanted to walk through was this setup cell here. This will be the thing you gotta run at the beginning of each lab. So let's go ahead and run this. On Colab, it clones the repository and sets up the environment. If you're running things locally, you don't need to clone, you don't need to set up the environment. Uh, it just gets us in the right directory so that we're ready to go. Once it's done, it prints out the directory that we're in, lab one's directory, and the contents there. So it's got that text recognizer library. So from there, we can just keep going and go through the lab if you want. But a heads up that these notebooks are not static. You can edit them and change them as you need. So for example, I might be curious what's going on inside of that folder. So I can add an additional cell and in that cell, write my own Python code, write my own shell commands. For example, I can issue a shell command, find and look at just what's inside that text recognizer directory. So it shows me the contents of that directory, the models folder, the data folder, and all those Python files. I can also run Python code, so I could import textrecognizer.data.util as util. And then one thing we'll do a lot in the labs is use this double question mark to examine an object. So let's run that, and this will pull up inside the notebook the source code and the documentation for some Python object. So you can also print objects if you want, it's maybe more familiar, or display objects, but this is a nice way for taking a look at the actual code. Here we can see that this utilities library contains this base dataset class. So in the rest of this lab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work up to understanding what that base dataset class is doing and what the components of the models part of the text recognizer library are doing. And we're gonna do that while learning about the PyTorch library as a whole. So the way that this lab notebook works is that we first build the full training of a neural network with just the very fundamental parts of PyTorch. So torch.tensors and math operations on them. And then we iteratively replace bits of that with higher level abstractions inside Torch 
and then eventually from the text recognizer library. And we eventually end up with a much cleaner, neater way for fitting neural networks and for trying out different data sets, different models. And then in following labs, we'll continue to elaborate on top of that. So just two last things that I want to cover at a meta level about these labs and notebooks. The first one is that you're going to want to run these notebooks linearly, so from top to bottom. If I'm scrolling along here and reading and not executing the cells, and then I come across one that's interesting, and let's say I want to run this one, and I run it, I'll get an error. It says X train is not defined. And the reason why is because it's expected that you've run the cells up to this point when you get to this cell. So X train is defined up here when we're building our data set. So when this happens, what you can do is run all the cells before the one that you're currently running again. The way to do that in Colab is runtime run before. There should be a way to do that in other types of notebooks. If we then execute this cell, we'll see that it runs. All the variables in it have been defined, all the libraries have been imported, and things have been set up. If you get into a situation where that doesn't help, then what you should do is start the notebook over. So that's in Colab runtime, restart runtime. So this will get you back to square one. And then the last thing that I wanted to touch on was the exercises at the end of the lab notebooks. These exercises are here in case you want to dive deeper on this particular component of the stack. They're not mandatory in any way. They're there for your learning benefit. Maybe you don't feel like learning more about PyTorch this time around. That's fine. Maybe later you're going to care to learn more about AWS Lambda. And the exercises are marked with these little stars. So the stars are meant to indicate how difficult or really how much effort it's going to take to complete an exercise. So if an exercise just has one star, you're probably just changing around arguments for a function that's already implemented for you and seeing what they do. Or taking a component of a library that we've already talked about and using it in a slightly different way. Other exercises are marked with up to three stars. Three star exercise is going to require you to read the documentation of one of the libraries that we're using and extend what we did. So add new pieces, implement new functionality. And then you'll also find some two star exercises that are somewhere in between. That's all I have to say about this lab. So go ahead, dive right in, start learning about PyTorch and Torch.nn, and I will see you in the next lab on PyTorch Lightning and convolutional networks.